So we've gathered a group of seasoned veterans here at Baker Group today to just kind of have a free-flowing roundtable discussion about the design-build delivery method. A wise man once told me the, the one of the benefits of design build is the customer knows the price up front. On a plan and spec job, they're typically not going to know the, the cost of the job until the end when all the change orders have been processed. You're starting earlier, uh, you're getting out in the ground earlier uh, while other systems are being designed, the footings and foundations are going, it's, it just shortens the, the entire duration of the project typically and uh, gives the owner the ability to start the return on his investment much sooner. It, you know, all the Design Build uh, Institute data will support that total cost of design build projects are typically less. When you factor in all the way from design through detailing, installation and lack of change orders, that installed product inherently costs less just because of the, of the le less waste in the process. The, the other industry data that that's out there, a lot of it says that you're 10 times less likely to be involved in claims and litigation as an owner. That's, that's, that's worth that's a big deal. That's a big deal. With the team building process that, that this lends itself to, you know, every subcontractor or every team member on the job is, is looking at what's best for the project, not necessarily what's best for me. It's a, a really collaborative effort on everybody's part. And the foreman in the field, when it's the design build project, they function together a lot better. Meaning they will talk about, well, who should be here first to get their work done because it's better for everybody overall. One of the first things out of the gate is you gotta be really technically competent. You gotta be able to stand behind your designs and have your designs work. And I think Jim and his group really lead that up. You know, between mechanical and electrical, we have 14 licensed engineers on staff that are really, I'd say, the stalwart of, of what a good design build project looks like. That's where it starts. The guys in the field teach us many things, but they know how to, to say, hey, let's do it this way, because it's going to be better for the customer in the end. It's the whole company that has embraced the design build mentality and giving a quality product to the customer and, and everybody contributes to it. Something that's changed at Baker Group over the years is we actually have guys who came from the field doing design and detailing. Uh, we're unique in that, at least in our market. And by having field guys in the design detailing process, we figure out constructability issues way sooner. Uh, the, the, the overlap has really been eliminated between design and detailing and what we can and can't do. Again, Mike, to your point, these are field craftsmen that have come into the office to help with that constructability piece. Who better to help an engineer with constructability than someone who's physically put it in before? One of the things we do with design build is the owner gets to make a lot more decisions than he would if it were a traditional delivery method. Because the whole way through, we are presenting the owner with options, giving them what the options cost, and he's able to say, well, maybe I want to spend a little more there, or no, I don't need to spend more there, I can spend a little less there. And he ends up getting a project that is more closely um, what he needs in the end, rather than an over-designed, overbuilt project. To tag on to that, it's, they, they can participate as much as they want, all the way down to what equipment they get on the project. On a plan and spec, the low guy wins. So if it's X manufacturer, that's what they're getting. We have a different approach. We'll do a bid tab and say, here, here are the four numbers we have. Here's our budget. Who do you want? That way they get, you know, if their maintenance guys are more comfortable with uh, vendor ABC, they're in the, you know, they were part of the, uh, the bid, they, they can choose that. They 
have a lot more say all the way from system design to actual equipment being in their building. As you guys think about your experience over the years, uh, what's, what's one key thing uh, about design build that keeps you coming back? I've been on both sides of the fence. I tell you what, I really enjoy design build. It's Doug hit on it, it's collaboration, it's trust. Um, you know that the people you're working around, you're, you're all marching in the same direction. Design build gives the owner a better experience and then they enjoy their job more and we enjoy our job at the same time uh, and it becomes a relationship. The fun for me day in and day out and year in and year out is, is the people you get to work with. It's the relationships that are that are made and maintained, uh, the, the processes of going through a project from start to finish. And building those long long term relationships uh, repeat clients, uh, that, that's a huge part of this and, and make, quite frankly makes, uh, makes it exciting to come to work every day. You're working with people that, that you have a great relationship with and uh, it's exciting to do a good job for them day in and day out. It's something that you can take your family by every day. It, it physically exists, your, your, your product of work. And, and so- To be in on the ground floor. To be in the ground floor, to, to be the one that helped the owner solve that problem and be the same one to, to, to construct a facility really is about as rewarding as it gets. And it makes it fun to show up to work every day when, you've, uh, when you feel like you provided value to somebody.